大陆国家主席习近平暗示恢复对美国的猫熊外交。But I will tell you this: as excited as I am about a panda, and that's pretty exciting. It's no substitute for democracy. 前美国众院议长佩洛西反共色彩鲜明，对于习近平在 APEC 领袖会议期间和美国企业高层的那场晚宴，佩洛西提醒必须对中国的民主人权表达看法。But I saw the executives go to the dinner and the that. Good, okay, find your common ground. This is a good thing. Let's see where it leads us. But just remember this. If we do not speak out for democracy and human rights when it comes to China, we lose all moral authority to speak about it any other place in the world. 部分分析认为，佩洛西访台是美中关系恶化的原因之一。佩洛西强调，中国领导人没有权利决定任何人能不能去台湾。So、we have strong bipartisan support on these four areas: Tibet, Uyghurs. Hong Kong, as far as within China, and also strong bipartisan support in the House and the Senate for support for Taiwan to have what it needs to defend itself. Our support for Taiwan is important to us, and it's important to our President Joe Biden. 佩洛西支持台湾有意义参与国际组织，也支持台美自由贸易协定以及美台避免双重课税。没有回应拜登称习近平是独裁者，对美中关系可能的冲击，但认为美中必须想办法寻找共同点。t v b 新闻李家辉，美国旧金山报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 t v b 新闻网 APP。